Hey Zips fans, Chad Welker here for the Zips Digital Network and joined by fifth year head coach now John Gross and coach first official day of practice. Tell us a little bit what you saw. Well, I think obviously our attitude and effort, it's always, it, it's good. That's our starting point, Chad. And it was great today. Today's day one. If you didn't have a great attitude and effort today on the first day of practice, right, you'd be concerned. But I think it started there. I really like our leadership right now from our older guys. I think that's been good during the summer training camp in the fall. And we've really had we had great purpose today in everything that we did um, with, with our guys, and our guys really bought into that. We got a long way to go, obviously, especially defensively with our details, and we've got to take better care of the ball on offense and what we did during the summer and fall training camp. And we're trying to figure out, you know, certain lineups and groups and how they play together. And and um, you know, obviously, that's the beauty of having 30 preseason practices. So today was day one, and you know, we get 29 more day ones. Coach, you t said in the huddle at the very end of practice that you like that no guys were really unselfish today. They were they were playing together. They were kind of clicking to start even day one. Yeah, or I'm sure you meant there they, they were very selfless today, right? Yeah. No, they were. We were really connected. Uh, we, we made some mistakes, but they had a good heart today about playing together, playing with each other to get great shots, uh, not being too thirsty, moving the ball working as a group and that was good to see I think certainly a lot of that's because of the work we did during the summer and the fall that's kind of helped us get to that point you know you do a traditional uh, retreat you did that this past weekend um, what are you learning about your team so early on in the season uh, with the retreat and the connection that they're getting together yeah that we need to be more connected um, obviously I, I like our group but it's impossible to be too connected it's impossible to talk too much and communicate, whether it's on and off the court, and find ways to connect and spend time with each other. Um, that was a obviously the retreat's always a big weekend for us. It was our third annual, and it allows us to kind of set some goals. You know, I asked them, "Hey, what what do you guys want to do this year? This is your team, um, you know." And then thoughts on how we're going to go about getting to where we want to go. And now, obviously, we we're going to dial in here on everybody's role because uh, I've always felt like. You know, and team, and great teams, great organizations, great families, businesses. Everybody knows their role. They embrace their role, and they play uh, their role like an NBA All Star. And so that that's what we're trying to. We got to get that through at this point. We've had a chance to watch our guys quite a bit, Chad. Summer, fall, now to start preseason, and it's given us a chance to get to know our guys and try to put square pegs in square holes and round pegs in round holes and how it all fits together like a puzzle. And um, you know, we're work in progress, but I really like our group. I enjoy coaching our team. And then lastly, Coach, just how are you enjoying the fact that things are kind of getting back to normal after a COVID year that we had last year? Well, so for, obviously we're grateful for that, right, and blessed. Um, and you never know right now the way that thing's tracking. You always hear something different every day. But we're just trying to control what we can control, get better. Um, and I, one thing I do know is as of today, we're at least going to – be allowed to have some fans in here you know I know they made that announcement our guys are excited about that we are too because we have such a great home court and uh, last year was just so odd you know we didn't have anybody at all in the building till late in the year and it was a certainly a smaller sample size at that point but we'll be glad to have our fans back in here and have Zips Nation you know they're going to like this team yeah we got I think we've got a really good group of guys that's a great segment to my closing. Of course, SIPS fans, you can get your season tickets by calling 888-99-Akron, calling or text the ticket office. Head over to Go Zips. Season tickets go on sale on Friday. For the Zips Digital Network, this is Chad Welker. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, Go Zips!